Yeah, my people, welcome back, welcome back in the morning. In Sana is here, and Nikada Media was saying, Bless up to the people, and salute, you know, good morning to the people, you know, evil, good evening, good afternoon, good night, and whenever you guys really watch it back here, the MSA, no, many of you might not catch it when it just released in the morning. As you know, today is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, and guess what? The big big interested point that is really circling around the Jamaican sports space is Leon Bailey is clear to make the return to the reggae boy squad for the upcoming games against Cuba and Honduras in the Nations League yeah um, I'm going to get into that as well and guess what one big up the one and only Bonnie Shaw you get what me I say a legend in the game already and you know pretty more interested points you know we're going to talk about as well you know about people thanks for the support thanks to the people who are always tuning a morning time they don't know trying to give you guys something you know to listen on your way to work you know you wake up whatever you don't know whatever commute you're making in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening or in the night whenever you know you guys really watching it back you know really appreciate it um but yeah first thing first one more and get to that first thing first we have to big up Khadija Bonisha. We have to big up Khadija Bonisha. Yeah, the former St. Diego High School standout. We have to big her up. Then Khadija Bonisha is the fourth international player as the woman to win the PFA Player of the Year. The first CONCACAF woman to win it. The first Caribbean woman to win it. The first Jamaican to win it. The first Jamaican band to win it. So, Khadija Bonisha, bless up yourself, you know. Really, really proud of you. And guess what? You're going to continue to make us in Jamaica. And people who are on the landscape of football, you're going to make them proud, you know. People who know the journey, you know, coming from St. Diego, you know, playing with the with the youths in the streets of Jamaica in a Spanish town college y y you know the history already you know place up yourself Khadija Bonisha. congratulations on winning players player of the year at the pfas what does this award mean to you it means a lot obviously the season didn't end oh i wanted it to end um but you know i've throughout the season tried to do the best that i can on the pitch and give off my best effort so you know to arrive at the end winning you know something that you know shows for my hard work and effort it definitely means a lot how do you think it sums up your career so far to stand here? Your peers have voted for you to win this. Your rivals have voted for you to win this. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it goes to show that, you know, the goals that I've scored and the contribution that I've given to my club, it, it's, it just goes to show that people are watching and people see that, you know, I'm, I'm working hard. You're an incredible role model to a lot of young people across the world as a fellow Jamaican for our island as well. What do you hope all the success of your career can do for the next generation of football players? Yeah, to show that, you know, I, I came from nothing and I'm here. And so if I can do it, they can do it as well. It's not going to be easy, but, you know, you have to believe in yourself and know that you're capable um, of achieving great things. And yeah, I'm here standing here with, you know, the Player of the Year <laughs> award that just goes to show that um, if you believe you can achieve anything. People, this is a this is a very big achievement for us you know we should celebrate this as if argentina just won the 2022 world cup in qatar you see how they celebrated this is a very big big thing for Khadija bonisha and a big thing for the regular reggae girl international player as well you know it's a big thing for the jamaican player and i have you know i have some things you know as I said, you know, first Caribbean, first Kankaka, first Jamaican band, first Jamaica, first everything, you know, to get this achievement over this side of the world. And, you know, I'm expecting bigger things, you know, coming in the few months from now, because, you know, Manchester City, you know, they will look to qualify for the group stage of the Women's Champions League as well. You know, they will look to bounce back after losing out on the league title against Chelsea in the you say the last two rounds of or the last it went down to the wire yeah it went right down to the wire the last game of the season you know so Khadija Bonisha would look to get back that title from Chelsea and you know to back that up but you know it it really really started out you know to show that Khadija Bonisha is making some big big waves you know she have always collected big big awards big big individual awards and she was named in the PFA you know um 
BFA team of the year as well. And you know, look at some of the names, you know, Kemp, I think it's Kemp or Hemp, you know, Lauren James, the Japanese, you know, she, she beat out in that top six to get the PFA award of the year. You know, it's it's a very big thing and I really appreciate her. And uh, look, it's just so sad to see what really going on, you know, with the reggae girls. You know, the system just seems like it just crumble. You understand? You know, um, uh, October will be the next FIFA date. October the 21st to the 30th will be the next FIFA date, I think, you know, for the women's calendar for FIFA. So... Hopefully, you know, the JFF can really start to get back the woman program back on track because after finish, you know, with two back to back work up, there's at least should be some money in the tank for the girls to, you know, to to to, to reform back a camp, to reform back the group, you know, set back the pace and let them go on and give them all the platform that they needed, you know, to qualify for our next work up. I don't know that next work up will be in brazil so you know um hopefully things can really get started out on this side of the world where Khadija bonisha can come back and represent the black green and gold as well you know so next up in line the champions league i'm hopefully that this term this time around she will qualify and help manchester city to get into the group stage of the women's champion league are they going to play in the playoff in a couple i think i probably around a couple weeks from now you get what i mean i, says, uh, I think a couple weeks um i'm not sure you know i i'm going to put it on the screen i don't remember you know i talked about it the last time but i don't remember you know but yeah you know hopefully you know she can start to rack up some numbers in the uefa champions league and start to get closer to the palandor as it's important yeah and guess what hopefully the program can start to kick back and she can start to put back up our numbers and for the jamaica team i don't want Khadija bonisha for win the balandor as i think as i always said i feel Khadija bonisha you know she is the number one striker in the world she's the best number nine in the world for me i don't know who you can put up against her Khadija bonisha is the best number nine. and if you come up with that player if you come up with that name and said look Khadija is not better than that player it's not a far far margin that player is better than Kajija Bonisha she's just the best you know look at the goals that she scored yeah in last season you know so bless up to Kajija Bonisha we're going to move on from that um you know bless up to the young reggae boys again you know doing really good over there in Trinidad you know they beat Aruba you know for the second time you know at 5-0 you know I think it's five yeah five nil you know so yeah bless up to the young reggae boys you know doing really good you know bless up to andrew peart and the coaching staff over there in trinidad doing a tremendous job with the young reggae boys and also you know the, the women's Concacaf champions league you know fraser have lost out to the costa rican team five zero you know when i f initially saw you know that Frasers will be playing in the Champions League. I was hoping that it's, it won't be a US or a Mexican team, but you know, they got a Costa Rican team and you know, they got 5 0. You know, the woman football in Jamaica is, is a joke compared to what really happened in around the region. You know, I mean, it's a learning curve. You know, the club can get some financial um stability from this you know so hopefully they can use that money and pump back into the system and try to develop their club you know Fraser is a big team over there in spanish town so yeah um what's up the league cup semi-final is on today yeah the league cup semi-final is on today reggae boy internationals yeah andre blake and damian Lowe will play the runner-up for the CONCACAF champion league and the defending champion of the mls columbus crew the wilfred nancy team Columbus crew is a very very tough team you know and when I look at it you know look this Columbus team you know they went back to back in penalty shootout to get where they are at this moment and guess what this Columbus team you know they yet to lose a knockout game at home in the league cup you know so they have only lost one game in the league cup at home you know so they have a they have a very very good record and you know in this tournament historically they have beat four mls team you know in this tournament already and guess what they have kept no clean sheet meanwhile philadelphia is scoring goals as well you know on the other side you know of philadelphia they this is their back-to-back semi-final of the league cup you know and philadelphia have won away to columbus crew the last time out they played over there you know in since i think it's in in columbus in ohio yeah and a chance you know for 
the team to qualify for the next edition of the CONCACAF Champions League. As I know, uh, you will get, I think you will get three spots. I think three spots are coming from the League Cup. You know, that's qualify them for the CONCACAF Champions League as well. You know, um, but one thing I have to say though, you could see the MLS clubs is like the MLS clubs are really closing in the gaps on the Mexican. You could see it internationally that the US men's national team closed that gap. You know, they're right there, probably the best team in the region at this moment, you know. So you could see internationally and club level, the MLS are closing the gaps on the Liga MX. What's really going on with Mexican football? I don't know, man. It's strange, you know, to see what's really going on with Mexican football. But um I the situation is really sad, you know. This situation is really sad in you know? Ronaldo Cephas is in that water over there in Turkey. I have, you know, I have some stuff that I'm going to read about Ronaldo Cephas, you know. His club has put out a statement that, you know, Ronaldo Cephas is training with the academy, you know. Um, so this is reports are coming out of Turkey. Ronaldo Cephas' last move was to not to come to yesterday's training session saying he was injured. The player expressed that he didn't he did not want to play here. You know, Cephas was sent to the youth academy. You know, um reports other reports are coming out that, you know, um Ronaldo Cephas in you know, after Ronaldo Cephas did not attend the match and training, you know, Ankara Gucci management decided to send Cephas to the youth academy and will reject all transfer offers for him you know look the turkish club the turkish clubs you know they are not something that you need to ramp with you saw this is not the this is not something like i'm no this what i what i really want to say this is not something new we saw last season when the owner punched the referee and then right after he resigned from his job you know and then hell broke loose in Ankara Gucho around this team and look see if as it seems like he's, he's, he's forcing a move out yeah it seems like he's forced to move out the team have relegated from the Turkish league the Super League you know, dropped down to the second tier in Turkish football and I don't know if Sifas really don't want to play it you know is it he, him and him agent have a very solid offer on the line but look two more years left back on his contract yeah, two more years left back on his contract, so the club have all the rights, you know, to hold on on him. You know, I mean, I think if he really want to move, the right thing is to do: sit down with the manager, sit down with the owners, and talk about it. See what's the best possible way, and you know, try to find the best solution. You know, there's another player in the system as well. You know, the Cameroonian international, you know, Basagog. He wanted a move as well, and few clubs from you know Saudi Arabia and UAE have bid for him and they bid around f between you know 500,000 between 500,000 to 800,000 euros and they turn it down they said they need something around the seven figures a million you know so he's not the only player that really wanted to move you know other players in the camp really want to move on the fans them you know on twitter is causing a concern like look if these players need to move on we should sell these players get the money and buy new players and keep the moral around the squad because they need to bounce back and get to the Turkish Super League. That's where they think their club belong, you know. I mean, hopefully this situation can really solve. Yeah, with Ranala Sif as, as again, this is not something that you really want to have on a name. In is not a powerhouse name in, in, in Europe as it in world football where you can do this stuff, you know, and then things will happen his way, you know. But Next up, you know, I'm going to talk about the story. You know, as Rudolf Speed have said, it's free for him, Leon Bailey, to get back into the squad. All matters is in the coach. And so guess what? The coach have all the power in his hand right now to recall Leon. But one thing the coach I remember he said, he's going to talk to the player. He's going to talk to the baller and see what is really going around where is his headspace will he will he come i don't know you know is leon bailey headspace really clear to come back and play for the reggae boys you know we know the long long history and some of his demands were you know he needed flights you know he needed security you know stuff like that and i think the security i think 
I think you know the security is really reasonable and the flight is reasonable then you know, the players should be getting first class flight especially when he already stated that he haven't collected money from the JFF putting them pocket fee such a long period so all the money we had what the match fee added to the ticket give the baller you know um first class flight leg room everything but one thing though the personal security thing it never work you know the room the personal room yes i can understand the personal room yes you can get a personal room but the the personal security thing that never i think the team needs security i think you know when i travel around and watch the reggae boys and when i see the opponent you know getting in around the ground there's loads of security around that international team even guatemala in new york yeah loads of security around their national team you know the team hotel you know the stadium wherever it is you know they have securities around the national team so i'm saying you know i think the jff can really afford get team security you know around the squad even if they are the hotel even if they are the, the the compound where they're going to play the game it doesn't matter the team needs security not leon bailey personal security if leon need a personal security him pay for your personal security the team need a security you know and i have witnessed so many times that you can easily especially at team hotels and empty for the record boys you can easily you know access those players it, it's very simple i have witnessed it you know so i think you know personally i think the man need a, a, a team security and stuff like that yeah but i mean it's very important though you know for leon to come on board you know for the next sets of games new coach new system new formula everything new words in the dressing room and this is one of the things that you know we can start to say okay we're going to take this nation's league very very serious and we're going to build on this and guess what we're going to prepare a team through the nation's league and ready for the world cup qualifier for the next round and not as just the next round next year edition of the CONCACAF gold cup yeah want to make a claim in the nation's league want to make a claim in next two games or we'll have before the gold cup for world cup qualifier and want to stamp our name around gold cup next summer as i think we have a very good squad experienced squad you know been through tournaments been through uh, world cup cycles you know where they have that experience around Kankakaf. so it's up to the coach now to keep these sets these these sets of players happy you know give this team a new harder you know give this team a new fresh of here breed something new in this team you know september is coming up october is coming up november is coming up next year march is coming up so you have around four to five window before him have a tournament you get what i mean so this is an opportunity for him to get all his bodies as he said he know them he know managers he know the coaches he know agents he know who to talk to to get players to release from their club to come and play international football you know so have that experience man like that let him do his job and i love to see that you know they came out and like look they give the coach all hands clean slate as that's what the coach said clean slate let the coach deal with the football matters in his own hands so guess what if things not happen as how it happen nobody not supposed to beat jff everybody must know say football in matter is in the coach and especially this one with leon chippy billy if if things go sour Nobody can call JFF name. It's in between the coach and Leon Bailey. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, um the coach can really sit down if he that if he really sit down already and really talk to Leon and see what is the issue, how he can integrate him back into the squad, what are the what are the, the stuff, what are, what will be Leon Bailey demands. I don't know. Remember he did that interview and you know a lot of demands were out there that he really want these stuff, you know. So hopefully, you know, the coach can really get this thing start out in probably week or so and you know leon bailey can be in around the, the team reggae boy fans Jamaican fans they love leon bailey you get what i mean? I say once he come in only thing he need to do is to prove himself to the people back himself back his talent and play good put on a stand flash shirt under the under the reggae boy jersey the, the number 31 you get what i mean? say come like yeah forgot put on a number 31 and the and the reggae boy jersey for for you can play good you know but i mean leon bailey you know a performance is due at any given time whenever he steps on the pitch the only way 
these critics these criticism can remove away from Leon Bailey name as less Leon Bailey start put the ball in at the back of the net and start put on some performances on the pitch and let Jamaican people rise to the occasion and say yes this is the Leon Chippy Bailey that we have all waiting for around the national team you know everybody know the talent everybody know what he can produce so make the ball come in breed a new fr- fresh air in the team clean slate and perform at his best of ability can steve mclaren get the best out of leon chippy bailey that will be one of the big big um questions to ask around whenever he come back into the team can he get the best out of the talisman yeah to perform at his best as all his performance you know at you know can he get the best performances out of leon just like what unai emery is doing to him in the english premier league and in european competition you know so people you know thanks for watching man this is nicola media salute mad